Hello everyone. Welcome to another new video of Four Knowledge. So in this video, we are going to study about cold schematic reaction. So it is there in class 12 in phenol chapter. So in this reaction, we will get salicylic acid from phenol. So how does this reaction works? So phenol by the action of dilute NaOH. So our first in, in uh, step one, phenol will react with dilute NaOH and it will give our product sodium phenoxide. So this will be the step one. In second step, sodium phenoxide will react with CO2 that is carbon dioxide. Keeping in mind in 400 Kelvin temperature and 4 to 7 atmospheric pressure, we will get that is sodium phenoxide will be converted to sodium salicylate. So this will be the step 2 and in third step sodium salicylate on action of dilute acid that is you can react with HCl we will get our final product that is salicylic acid. So let me uh, remind you one more time phenol by the action of dilute NOH will give you sodium phenoxide that will be the step 1 and in step 2 this sodium phenoxide will react with CO2 keeping in mind at 400 Kelvin temperature and 4 to 7 atmospheric pressure sodium phenoxide will be converted to sodium salicylate and in step 3 that is last step sodium salicylate by the action of a dilute acid will be giving you the white PPT of our final product that is salicylic acid. Now let us move on to the reaction part so this was all about definition so I am using this part. So this will be our starting product and this will be our final product. So phenol on reacting with sodium hydroxide will give us sodium penoxide. So this was first step, step 1 and in second step sodium phenoxide on reacting with carbon dioxide that is CO2 will give us sodium salicylate. Now how does sodium salicylate looks? It looks like so this is the structure of sodium salicylate actually here one bond breaks and here H breaks this H goes here this Na reacts with here and the another bond gets here so this is the process of getting sodium salicylate. I have done it in informal way that will be uh, easier for you to understand. So this is step 2 and in step 3 that is sodium salicylate on or by the action of dilute acid will give you salicylic acid. So in step 3 sodium salicylate I am reacting with HCl obviously I have told in the definition that the temperature will be 400 Kelvin and at 4 to 7 atmospheric pressure ok so this will be the this will act as a catalyst so in step 3 sodium uh, salicylate will react with HCl and it will break the HCl minus and H plus H will positive will react with negative and you will get OH and Na will react with Cl and give you NaCl. So this is known as Cope schematic reaction. So this will help you both in West Bengal joint, in J and in NEET. So if you like the video, to like, comment and share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.